What is going on peasants? My name is JB and I'm back here today with my UPBA week uh, one video. I know this is super late. Well, got some explaining to do. So I deleted the file like an idiot. There's the end of the story. Plain and simple, delete the file like an idiot. Um, so my bad. Also, you might notice this is uh, the day that week two is supposed to go. Up. Well, my opponent went on fucking vacation. God damn it, Dorian. So we're going to be playing that on Tuesday. Try to get the video out on Wednesday for you guys. So a little bit behind there i got um you know a couple other things to talk about too so uh, i have two other leagues that are getting ready to start up uh ssba which uh I have my draft analysis go up for that tomorrow <laughs> let's just say that league's gonna be a fun time um i'm very excited about that very excited about that team and we also have iba coming up very soon as well so got some you know fun end of generation um games to play so and leagues to play in so it should be it should be a good time dropped some really fun teams in all these leagues so very much looking forward to it and uh yeah we're playing root this week um so shout out to him you can see his uh oh, that's the wrong thing hopefully you guys are you guys are seeing my uh happy hey drops that's my bad but uh yeah you can see root down here we're using his video this, so uh shout out to him um yeah i didn't you know bother asking him for a switch because i didn't feel like downloading that file because i don't have new internet anyway 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 um let's go ahead and talk about the team that we are bringing so um yeah. yeah 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 so he is bringing a uh choice bandit coca which didn't i did end up knowing that in the battle um also scarf zap pretty sure i figured that out as well uh zapto nope that's not a zapto that is a sand slash a vaporeon a durant and a mesprit so you look at my team see it over here on the uh the right hand the left hand side rather we have a weakness policy rock polish terrakion with cc stone edge and megahorn uh, Megahorn was to hit um, something he did not bring. Don't remember what it was, but that's what that. Actually, I could probably look. We're already deep into this. So let's just let's just roll with it. So yeah, um, <laughs> it was for Celebi that he did not end up bringing because I didn't want to risk Stone Edge not killing. So I'd rather risk uh, Megahorn missing. So yeah, that's what we got. <laughs> but yeah, uh, dual stab, fucking button clicking. Uh, he has a ton of stuff that I could just live. I don't remember everything, but I could live a hit from. I can, live, I can definitely live a close combat from a scarf. Uh, what's it called? Bird. I, 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 live the, I live the hit from the Zapdos. I live a hit from... Uh, I live an Earthquake from um, Sandslash. Why am I just unable to talk? Fucking Christ. I obviously live a Scald from um, Vaporeon, assuming I don't get burnt. I can probably live a hit from Duran if it's not boosted. I don't remember the calc on that one, though. But yeah, a lot of the stuff on his team I could live a super effective hit from and be fine. He actually has a freaking fucking Tangaberry? Really, bro? Fucking Tangaberry, Mesprit? What the hell? Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, we have a Choice Scarf Jirachi. Just kind of felt like being a piece of shit. Had a really good speed tier this week. Uh, so I thought it'd be nice. It also gives me something to speed tie with the uh, Zapdos. So went ahead and ran with that. I have a Choice Specs Tornadus. Because outside of Vaporeon and Gigalith that are on his roster, it legitimately two it KOs or Okos every single Pokemon on his team. That's not an exaggeration. It, even Coco two it KOs. But I also have a Sludge Bomb, which if I read the Coco switch in, I could just Oko it, or I could just land two Hurricanes. Obviously, it'll be faster than me, so I probably don't want to risk that. If I eat up get Coco to come in on me, I'll just Sludge Bomb. But we'll get to that when we get to that. Um, next up, we have a Ringo Berry Rhyperior, rocking uh, Rock EQ, Rock Bust, and Roar. I don't know, say Rock again, idiot. Uh, we have a Focus Sash of Sogor with T Spikes, Bug Buzz, uh, Sludge Bomb, and Focus Blast. And then a Babiri Berry Weezing with Sludge Bomb, Strange Team, Flamethrower, and Pain Split. Basically, it gives me, uh, Babiri Berry helps me, you know, check, uh, Durant, as well as it gives me a really, really solid check to, um, both, like, um, not necessarily Bandit Coco, but, like, non like, non-boosting item, Physical Coco was nice for, and it also gives me something extra to help check, uh, these Aptos, so we ended up rolling with there. My idea going in was to T-Spike him, uh, early, because he doesn't really have great removal on this team, um, Listen, I'm the sand slash is cool. It's not the best Pokemon in the world, uh, obviously, and uh, I'll take a poison on it if it comes to that. So, want to go ahead and get T spikes up early? I don't remember if I ended up doing that or not. So let's go ahead and hop on over. Sorry if this ends up buffering. I am watching it on a quality that my internet cannot handle. So we'll see if we can actually uh, get through with this. Once again, shout out to Root for you know uploading his video on time and not being me. So <laughs> yeah, he's gonna we're gonna actually end up leading off with our uh, tornado. He goes Coco. So not the best lead for me, not the best lead at all. Really unfortunate. So I'm pretty sure I just hard switch into Rhyperior. If he wants to go for Grass on, I'm not super worried about it. Uh, he does actually end up having it, but he's banded. So I'm kind to live a Specs, um, a, uh, a Specs Grass Knot with my Rhyperior after the window. And I could also take the hit from. I could also take a Specs Deagling from um, this thing on Rhyperior. That's what this Spadef is for. 
Not that you guys ever saw my spread, but that's what it was. That's what I. That's what I calculated for. Damn it. So yeah, we're just gonna go hard right period on this. It is a pretty uh, obvious switch, but didn't you know really have a better play as he does just U-turn out, so he gets a little bit of momentum. And my God, that did a ma metric fuck ton. Did you see how much that fucking U-turn did? That is a goddamn U-turn to a Rhyperior. Maybe the most physically defensive Pokemon maybe ever? Fucking maybe? All right, we'll go 480p. Maybe I can handle 480p. Listen, man, we don't have Wave yet. We don't have Wave just yet. We still rock in CenturyLink for another couple weeks. Once we get Wave, bro, oh my God, it's gonna be great. So he actually ends up going into the um, Mesprit. I'm not really gonna have to watch on fucking 360p for you guys. I don't want to do that to you guys. I really don't want to do that to you guys. I really don't. I really don't. But if I have to, yeah, dude, this, we're, not, we're not getting it through. We're, not, we're, we're just not getting through the video if I don't. Actually, no, this isn't me. This, is, this might not be me. I'm not sure what's happening. Some of this is his video skipping. I will right, we'll go 360. We'll go 360. <laughs> oh boy. I do in fact hate it here. He does just go for the energy ball. As you can see. All right, I'm gonna refresh. I don't have to refresh. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. So yeah, Drashi comes in and takes the hit relatively easily. We decided to just U-turn out as he pops the Tangaberry, which um, was quite surprising to me. If I was um, offensive at Sogor with Throat Spray, would have looked phenomenal at this point. Um, would have looked so good because he didn't bring Gigalith. Uh, he does still have the um, Durant in the back, so wouldn't have been able to do too much as well as a Vaporeon. But, I mean, it would have looked really fucking cool, but it's fine. I believe he just clicked rocks here. I don't really know what I'm doing. Taking too fucking long is what I'm doing. I go into Timmy, which is going to be the Terrakia. Ooh. Oh. Okay, I remember this. I remember this. I'm like, oh, he's Tangaberry? Well, that means he's, you know, probably not offensive. I can easily chew any hit from this thing. It is just, you know, set up on it. I kind of just clicked some fucking buns. I decided to just go ahead and use this as a breaker. Try to, you know, get everything in range of stuff and things. So, yeah, he's going to just go ahead and psychic me. I can take the hit relatively well. Yummy. Chewing it up. Does nothing. He also doesn't have any priority on his team, I'm pretty sure. So... I can land the hit. If I can land the Stone Edge versus Vaporeon, we're looking pretty good. Does like a clean 80%. He does have this thing um, that he's going to go into, and I'm going to cry. But I don't know that at the time. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't, you know, acknowledge that. I'm like, oh, hey, it's a fucking Sand Slash, dude. What am, I, what am I worried about? I do land the Megahorn, though, which is cool. Like, who fucking hits? I, I usually don't, but we, we take this. <laughs> um, he probably should have just made the... Made the, made the play in the first place, but I guess he didn't want to take the close combat to the face. Maybe not. I'm not really sure. Because um, I'm pretty sure this thing is definitely to a KO by CC, but... Eh. Oh, yeah. I remember this fucking play. This, this annoyed me. <laughs> this, this, I, I, I will legitimately say this did annoy me. Because he's telling me he just spikes in my face. Like, but really? What if, what if I didn't die to Helmet there? What if I wasn't in range of Helmet? I mean, granted, he knows because of he, he, he's smart and knows what 1 16th means. I don't know what the fuck that means. Um, so he knew I would die to it, but like, come on, man. What if I didn't die? What if I had like one extra HP and you just spiked in front of me for no reason and you just lose the Pokemon? Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm, I'm not a fan. Of, I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of it, okay? Okay? I mean, it, it obviously ended up working out for him and it, it kind of screwed me over, but it's fine. Who, who really cares? Um, we're just going to go ahead and get our Bug Buzz kill. I don't really know why I went into this. I guess I kind of just wanted to scare him. I'm not, I'm not really sure. Um, but that's what I did, so fuck it, here we are. <laughs> I think he just goes into the bird and gets a kill. Says my uh, Rhyperior is dead? Question mark? I think my Rhyperior is dead. I don't remember. I don't remember what happened. It's been, it's been too long. It, it's been too many turns. I have no clue what happened in this game. <laughs> uh, you know what? We'll, we'll times do this. We'll times do this. I, I'm uninterested. I am so uninterested in this game. <laughs> so... He is just going to Iron Head here, and I don't really have a great play, so I think I decided to stay in and chip this. I don't really want to let it set up for free. I just kind of want to see what he's going to do after. So I actually go for the Focus Blast and hit. Okay, I, didn't, I did not know I had that, but we do do a metric fuck load, which is very nice. So I can kind of just go into anything afterwards and pick this thing off, which is really good. Uh, I believe I actually just go into Jirachi because I know I'm faster, and probably just... I, I either... Um, I, I probably click one of the flinchers. I don't, I don't remember what my coverage was. What was my coverage with? Coverage move is Fire Punch. I don't think I click Fire Punch here. I probably click. I probably click a flinch move. Let's be real. No reason not to click a flinch button here. No reason not to click a flinch button. 
Uh, he has Stomping Tantrum, which T.I.L. fucking Durant gets Stomping Tantrum. Uh, so yeah, we just Iron Head, and we do get the kill, so that's very nice. He knows I'm Scarf now, but I mean, look at my build. It's obviously Scarf Rashi. Uh, but he can just go into Shampoo, which is going to be his Vaporeon. And I don't really have a great play versus this, because I didn't bring anything for it. <laughs> uh, my electric type is a fucking Manectric, so yeah, good, good luck with that. I also did not bring Decidueye to this game. So we actually just go into Dimadug, which is going to be our uh, thing. He flip turns. Good play, good play. I respect it. But uh, he doesn't have the easiest time breaking this. He does have Tantrum on literally all of the things. Do I have fucking Grassy Terrain? No? Okay, well, I mean, neither one of those things are there. It's quick, obviously, but hey, it, it's whatever. Um, yeah, this, this is... I, I would probably go Coco, looking at my team. Because I'm still pretty sure my Red Period is dead. I have, I have no clue if my Red Period is alive or not. Also, this is like the worst fucking um, Hydreigon matchup ever, for those of you wondering why I didn't bring my first round pick. Like, look at this fucking team. He has a goddamn Coco. He has a fucking Vaporeon. Um, Durant's faster. He had, like, um, what else was I super scared of? He's like, Zapdos is faster, too, and just boss me. Like, he, like, his first two picks, Coco, Zapdos, just, just fucking, like, completely nullify almost every fucking set from um, the thing I'm talking about. The, 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 the Hydreigon. There we go. But we pay split a little bit of HP back. Uh, and I believe we end up 1v1ing one this? I don't remember. Um, I have no clue what happens. <laughs> I switch for some reason. Going to Lucky and Bat. Ooh, on the Brave Bird. Ooh, predicting the Scarf. I'm like, dude, what if he's not Scarf? He's totally a Scarf. I'm faster, even if he's not Scarf. We'll be fine. Uh, but I could chew that up, obviously. And I'm pretty sure I just have to stay in and, you know, spam flinch buttons at this point. I go for Zen Head, but... Pick this thing off. Win the speed tie, assumedly. Uh, I was max max, so uh, wh whether or not he was, we'll see. Um, I, I have no clue if he was max max. Uh, but I definitely was, so. Safe to assume he probably was as well. Or if he wasn't, then I just won the speed tie either way, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> but he goes into Coco. And he uh, clicks U turn, actually, which is interesting. I'm just going to click Zen Headbutt. Uh, that is, of course, my win con at this point. I still have four Pokemon. How did I fucking choke this? What the hell? Sorry, <laughs> um, I don't know what happened in this game. I have no clue what happened in this in-game. I have no fucking clue what's about to happen. I mean, I know hazards are up and it's gonna fuck me. Um, bears in, and I don't even get the fucking flinch, by the way. Yeah, I, I, I don't. I don't even get the flinch. I needed the flinch there. I don't even get the flinch. Like, what's the point of being lucky and bad if you don't even get the luck part? Like, you just, you just bad. Like, come on, but really, really, I don't even get the luck part. God. Jirachi's a shit Pokemon. I'm a shit player. I can't even get lucky. Are we going to Demodug here? I think there's a world where Weezing can maybe pull this off if I waste terrain turns enough. Like, if he comes in on the last turn of his terrain and terrain's not up, maybe I can paint split 1v1 it with Sludge Bomb. I don't know. Uh, probably not, though. He's just going to switch. Like, this is the scenario I need. I have to paint split here, but I'm not going to get any health back. I'm thinking, I, yeah. D tell me I don't. Tell me I don't paint split here. Yeah. I, it's a bad play, but I kind of had to click it in front of the Vaporeon. But yeah, that, 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 that wasn't my best hour, finest hour. Um, I definitely can maybe do something with Weezing if I try. Cause I, like if Terrain's not up, I might live one, but he is banded. I, I, it's tough to say. Going to... <laughs> I think I sack for recoils, my uh, thought process there. Sack for recoil damage, maybe he does the recoil? Obviously not from there, but I don't know. I don't know, this fucking thing's alive. Are you shitting me? This thing's fucking alive? What am I doing? What am I doing? I thought he was going to U-turn, maybe. Maybe I thought he was going to U-turn. But I'm, I'm definitely in range, even through Rindo Berry, so there's really not a whole hell of a lot I can do. Oh, he, uh... What the fuck was that? <laughs> I mean, he was just sacking, but like, what? <laughs> Dude, click Grass Knot. Um, obviously, he was just sacking there, but... Come on, man. That's disrespectful. But, um... Yeah, we're just gonna, he's just gonna Scald, kill this, unfortunately, and all I have left is Jirachi, and Jirachi is going to die to hazards, I'm pretty sure, and I'm going to cry. Maybe Jirachi lives on one and I flinch it to death? Oh, no, it's Dimbaduck. I'm stupid. Oh, shit, I could totally win this if I get a poison. And I actually just died of Scald, which is unhecking fortunate. So, yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't know if I threw that in game, but I definitely didn't play it well. GG's the root. That's gonna be the video, guys. Uh, I'm sorry it was terrible. Uh, week two will be up uh, Wednesday. I have a draft analysis coming out on the day after you're seeing this. So, yeah, I'm not sure if I'll get this up tonight. I'm recording this on Friday. I'm not sure if I'll get this up tonight or tomorrow. Either way, um, yeah, week two on Wednesday, draft analysis for a meme league. Not really a meme league, but a different league in the meantime. So, catch y'all then. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.